Hi guys, so today we're going to try out a fun card. Um, kind of idea I had seen, especially when I had reviewed some Crafters Companion sets. I don't remember the exact name, but it had like little teddy bears and they had like a little um, like party going on. I don't know, but it's kind of like a box. It's kind of like a pop-up, but not really, <laughs> but like a scene, like a diorama inside the card. So what I want to do today is do the same thing. Do it with an A2 size card so it makes sense and that when you open your card, it kind of opens up like a little frame inside the card. Um, I think what I came up with will work. Um, if I have any links in the description box, those will be affiliate links to me. I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. But this can be easily made with anything that you have. I'm just, I, I honestly haven't even pulled out the dies I'm going to use or anything, or even the papers. It's just an idea. And yesterday I sat there and kind of worked out the numbers so that it works. So basically the card base is going to have to be a little bit funky, but it's still going to be four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded, right? When you close it up. But the back side of the card, you know, let's pretend this is our card. It's going to have to be a little bit shy of that because when you squeeze it, the frame is that's built inside is going to move that way, right? And you don't want that sticking out, at least I don't. So um, we're going to remove that amount from the back of the card. But when you open the card, it you know no one's going to be like, oh, this is like smaller. I mean, you can't tell, right? Because as you're opening it, it just opens up. So um, I had to do some work with that. I was thinking, okay, maybe you can use a 12 by 12 piece of paper and add on the extra, but it's not going to work out. So it's going to be two pieces of paper, the actual card base, and then the part that's going to make the frame. And that'll make it easier for die cutting too and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you can tell by the um, intro what I'm talking about because right now I'm just talking and hopefully that makes sense. So our cards like this, the frame will be attached in here. So when you open this, it pulls the frame open. Okay. It's really simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab some papers, and we'll get started with that, and then we'll just build up the card as we go along. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off. I just have an 8.5, I hope. Actually, let me check, because my paper always runs from A2 to A4 size, so sometimes it's not quite what I need. But okay. So according to my little notes, <laughs> I think this will work out. We're going to go ahead and cut this at 5.5, of course. Um, just because we're going to make a standard A2 size, so it's a uh, fill in your envelope, nothing funny. Work out really well with whatever other dies you might have that work for that, you know. Okay. And then in this other direction, we're going to go ahead and just cut it to 8 inches. So we're going to take half an inch off. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do it this way. And I'm using a black card base because I don't really know what papers I want to use or anything else. So <laughs> I thought this would be fun to play off of. Um... So five and a half by eight. Okay. And then we need another piece that is five and a half, which is already five and a half, right? We already cut it that way. By five and a quarter, and I hope I did my math right. So by five and a quarter. Okay. So, ooh, I just saw this um, embossing folder sitting here, and I thought, <gasps> That'd be nice to add some texture to it. Do I want to do that? I'm trying to think. Nah, not today. But if I wanted to, I could run this through. These other pieces are going to be kind of embedded into the card, so you're not going to see them anyway. But just, you know, add more texture. And then, um, let's see here. I am going to do some mat mats and layers, and even on the inside part, just to have more character, make it a little more fun. But for now, let's focus on this part. So on the bigger piece... Again, it's eight and a half by eight, so on the eight inch side, we're still gonna score it at four and a quarter. So that's gonna leave a piece on the back side that's a little small, right? You see this piece is obviously smaller than this piece, so let's go ahead and fold it right now. And so when you open the card, you're missing half an inch on this back piece. But when we make our um, folder, or the frame, it's gonna push out about half an inch. It might even push out a little bit more, so you're probably going to be able to see it. We'll see. But for now, once this is all folded and stuck in here, it's going to, it's going to make it so that the whole card is four and a quarter. You know, by five and a half. It just looks so funny. Yep, four and a quarter. Okay, let's make sure this piece is what we need on the five and a quarter side. Yep. So on the five and a quarter side, so it's five and a half by five and a quarter. On the five and a quarter side, we're going to score at half an inch. And basically this half inch, if I were to fold it now, is going to be glued to this front flap. So that's what's going to make it pull open, okay? So when you open the card, this is going to go with it. And that's what makes the frame work. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so there's half an inch. And then on the other side, I'm just going to turn it the other way. 
just turn it back. We're going to score it at half an inch and at one inch. And that leaves this piece in here in the center that's roughly the same as the three and uh, three quarters, basically. But let's just fold this really quickly. And basically, that's going to be stuck there. Then you need your other half inch, right? So we have half inch here, half inch here to make the frame. And then I did a half an inch. You don't have to do a whole half inch here to stick it down, but that's what I'm glued down, you know, to make the frame. So our frame is this. And when your card closes, it's going to get pushed. I'm going to hold it down right now. So at this piece, now it's a complete A2 size card. You see that? How this gets pushed over? And that's what I wanted. That's what I was envisioning. I think it's going to work, guys, because once it's glued, it's going to open it back up. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about that again. Eight inches by uh, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This one is five and a half by five and a quarter, scored at half inch on one side, on the other side, half inch and one inch, okay? And that's all we need. Now, I want to make it so that it's a frame frame so you can see through it, and then we're going to put something in there. And the easiest thing, actually, like I said, I prefer, um, you know, just grab something from your stash. Uh, I just got this in. It's an auto ship from Crafters Companion. I thought, you know what? This will work because I want a couple different things. So let me open this up. Any scallop circles, tags, squares, rectangle, whatever it is that fits in here that you can use will be great. So we want to make like an aperture. Now this is kind of where I was thinking I want to do a matte layer, so I'm probably going to get a piece of paper for that. But you know, this isn't the biggest set, so I'm going to use this guy and this guy. Because if I go any bigger, it's going to really make a big hole. And it's kind of small, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit smaller, but right now I'm just trying a technique. I'm not really trying to do this up the way I normally would. Now, you know what, that's cute though. And actually, to make it easier, we can do a little like... Um, frame right a little circle frame so what I was gonna do is actually cut this hole into there and then in my matte layer I was gonna cut this so that you see the black through but we can make it easier a different way so what I'm gonna do is grab some pattern paper and I should probably go and actually think about this a little bit more what about this paper this paper is pretty I wanted something that I can then just pop on maybe some ephemera on the front because I don't really you're just gonna decorate your front as you would for anything um, Let's do that. Okay, let's see here. So I said this is like three and three quarters, right? Let's just make sure. So you know I didn't get this far. So three and three quarters. So let's say three and a half by five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this down to three and a half by five and a quarter. So it mats in here nicely, okay? Uh, so three and a half by five and a quarter. And I'll bring up just a little bit here. So what I did is I went ahead and cut also a front for this card. So just this front layering piece the same piece I use on the inside so our card is like this this is just four by five and a quarter again that leaves um, I just removed the quarter inch I usually like to just do the eighth of an inch but that's okay so I'm gonna take this guy and so this one's again four by five and a quarter I'm just trying to eyeball that now, on this inside one, since we are going to cut it, I could theoretically just glue this down and then run through our dies so it's all together. Which, maybe that's what I'll do. I'm not a huge fan of doing that because, you know, depending on where you put the glue, and now i got to wait for the glue to dry and all that, but um, maybe that's what we'll do today, just to make it quick and easy. Oh, also, if you want something to show through in the back, you know, you want to mat that up too. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and glue this down. So since I am going to cut out this centerpiece, I am going to make sure that I have some glue running up and down that area, right? Just to make sure that stays down. So I'm going to pop that into this area here. In between the half inch and the one inch line on the other side. Now, since we're just creating this from scratch, and I mean, this might as well be Freeform Friday. I know this week was kind of crazy with the holidays and everything, so it doesn't really, we can do whatever we want. I mean, I can make, just make that the hole so it's uh, bigger. Maybe that's what I'll do. Again, we're just playing around with this, because if I make this the aperture, it's very small. So maybe if this is the aperture, then the piece that's behind it that shows through can be this kind of thing. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? 
<laughs> I'm just going with the flow right now. I'm just trying to get this idea out of my head and into the world. Okay, so we we're going to put that on there. Oh, you know what's funny about that? When I go to layer it in later, we want to make sure that's the same. But either way, so I'm going to pop this in here. And this middle section is going to get cut out, so I'm putting the tape more towards that just so it doesn't mess anything else up. Now we're going to run this through our die cutting machine. And, you know, you need a die cutting machine, obviously, that's at least five and a quarter inches wide here to get this done. I'll so say you probably fold these pieces over the top like this if you need to get it into the marquee, you know, because now you can run it through and only this backside will be cut. So that's a good tip if you have a smaller machine, okay? So I'm going to run that through and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get this guy through here. So hopefully I haven't lost anyone. I think it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> so again, it's gonna be a scalloped hole here. And that's kind of why I made sure to put glue everywhere so that it would hold that down. And so again, depending on what shape or what you know size, like there's so many ways you can play this up. This is gonna glue here, and then we're gonna glue our frame down in here. So when it opens up, it's gonna pull it like that. And then what I plan to do is put a little something in here. Now, since this particular die set, and again, this is an auto ship, it's probably not available. Maybe it'll be available later. Just whatever dies that you have that nest will be great. Um, I kind of see that this one, <laughs> I was like, well, this is actually very perfect. I wasn't even thinking about this die set. It literally just came in. And I already mentioned what I was going to be doing earlier um, in the haul video. Um, I think what I'm going to do is cut like this guy. I do like the black though, so what if we had like the black showing through, how do I do that? I guess I'll have to probably do another whole circle, right? Let's think. I have this little in inlay basically. Oh, I guess I could just do the inlay and not use that. Do use that with the inlay and it'll just be showing. Is that weird? That is kind of weird. Let's think. What do I want to do? Do I want to do this? beige, black, and a pink one. Just that I really like this um, really soft coloring here. Let me think about what I want to do as far as layering this up to make it look cute and kind of laid it in there. Okay, I'll be right kind of weird, but this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do black with the insert. So I'm going to tape that down. And this is just an extra piece that came off of this with the insert. Tape it down, run it through. I'm going to do one just with this pink color that came from a Crafters Companion set that I wasn't really a fan of. It was an embossing set, the kit. And I actually took it apart, which I never do. But I was just like, I don't want to hold on to this box. So um, I just put the papers down here. And there's a pink paper that matches that deeper pink in there. So I'll do that just with a circle. And then this one, I'm just going to cut from this like champagne paper. Why not? So I'll cut that. Okay? And I'll okay. be right back. I'm using all the machines today. Let's see here. Uh, and again, you can definitely get this through your marquee. How cute. That and then this guy. So unexpected. I mean, the colorway, it's a little bit different. I, what's kind of funny is I was thinking about doing a Valentine card and I was like, eh. And hey, it's pretty close <laughs> to one. I'll leave that there. Hopefully, I have something I can just pop on the front and be done with that. So, what I'm going to do right now is glue this down. So, I guess we'll. I don't want to glue this part yet because I want to make sure that I have it lined up the right way. So it'd be easier if I glue this down. As you can see, my little inlay moved a little bit because it's not perfectly centered, but I'm not that picky. As I got older, I am becoming a little more picky, but nah. <laughs> All right, let's put that down. And I've just never been picky, really. All right. Oh, I guess we could also pop this up, give it a little more dimension. I think maybe that's what I'll do. So when I go to put this on there, we'll put some dimensional adhesive on the back of that. So we have this ready. We have this ready. We also have this cutout. I mean, if we want to use the cutout, too, you could use that. You don't have to cut another piece, right? We'll just sit them in the back. Cute. Okay, this. Now, this is very important because we don't want this to move. So this is definitely going to have to glue down and not move a muscle right onto the edge. Okay. Right to the very edge. Basically, we're going to place that right in the center there. I'm just trying to see where I need that to be. That is super important. So I wouldn't leave that up to a dry, like, adhesive runner. It needs to be glue that way. And unless you tear it, it's not going to come apart. If this was just dry adhesive, maybe later when you go to open it, it's going to just pull away, you know? So definitely glue. Definitely on the side to the left, right? 
obviously. So when we open this, this is going to, see, it's already wanting to do it, but I don't want to mess with that too much. So I'm going to actually let it dry a little bit. Now, you don't want to have this. It's already, <laughs> that's so cute because it just wants to come with it. I love it. This, oh my gosh, you guys, this worked out really well. Okay, and then this guy, we're basically going to glue down here. Okay, and then when we close it, it pushes away. So I'm not going to close it yet, but I would normally let that dry, but since we're doing a tutorial, you got to keep moving. So get this done before I... People come home from watching a movie. All right, let's put this on here. I have some time right now to myself. Of course, I don't want it all over the edge, but pretty darn close. So I am folding it like this. Actually, that kind of helps because it kind of spreads the glue to the very edge. And that's all we want. We want to bring this right to the edge. Now you could flatten it out and see what you're doing. Maybe this is when you take your time to go ahead and bone fold. I'm on the back side of the card now, so hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Just so I can get that right to the very edge. Of course, we want to make sure we're not gluing it down completely. So I'm just kind of pick it up, make sure the glue didn't come out, you know, just keep it separate if it did. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, I don't want to mess up too much, but when it opens up, you won't even see that piece that's back there. And I just judged half an inch because I figured half an inch is good, so that's good. It's out of the way. And we have this, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm going to let this set up before we keep moving on. In the meantime, what I can do is see what it is that I want to put on the front, and um, I'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, this is super random. I'm using all kinds of stuff. I pulled out some LDRS Creative Ephemera. I pulled out some... Um, I impress the farmer. I was going to do this. It brings a lot of peach to it, but then it was hard for me to kind of use it. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these guys. I'm going to put that. I think I'm going to pop this up. So even though it's quite a bit of things on here, I think it'll look cute. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably take ink and make these black, but um, I think I'm going to leave it stark and white. I think that's fine. So what I'm going to do is just glue these down real quick, and then we'll go to the inside. Now, again, this is just an idea I had no plan for, which is typical of my videos, but at the same time, as I know everybody, we all have different things. So whatever you have in your um, craft room is going to work really well, I think. Or your craft space or your area, whatever it is that you do. Drawer, whatever it is. I'm just kind of putting these things together. This guy's going to cover up kind of that junction anyway. So I'm just kind of putting this as much as I can. And before, that's why I was always intimidated when I was a new crafter, because like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that, or oh, I don't know, mine's not gonna, just whatever you have. Obviously, you know how to decorate the front of a card, I think. And then from there, it's just what, you know, whatever you want to pop in the inside too. So as you can see, those things kind of jumble up on top of each other, it's no big deal. I'm gonna put him right here and just glue it down and then this I'm gonna pop up. That looks cute. Yeah, whenever I have a card that has something going on, on the inside, I kinda want that to be the main attraction, but of course you have to look at something on the outside, right? Was I putting that there maybe? Okay. And this I would normally put like 3D glue gel, but I'll just use some of these guys real quick. Just to pop it down so we can finish up this idea. I'm just happy that the math came out real well. It was so easy. I'm just going to pop this here. See how straight that is. That looks about right. Maybe a little bit down there. So that's the front of our card. Again, mix and match the ephemera from here and there. And then when we open it up, I was playing with this and I forgot to remove it, but I'm going to do the You Are Awesome in there. Again, it doesn't have to like completely line up. But this is also some other ephemera. And I'm going to cover up that heart, so the heart, it doesn't even matter actually what it ends up looking like. So let's glue this down, and then we'll go from there. Again, if you want this to be completely the same, just pop it down and eyeball. I have to put this in front of me to know if we're in the right space. Out there. Oopsie, no, that's completely not it. Let's do that again. No, 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 don't stick, don't stick. <laughs> so... 
what's interesting is if I really just push it straight down from here, it should be the same, right, you would think. But for me, I just want to, when it opens up, it needs to be like this. So it just needs to be a little bit to this area. There. So when you open it, you see what I'm saying? You see it kind of straight down in there. And it's about the same shape. Then we have these guys. And I was going to pop that up. So should I glue this? I suppose I'll pop up the whole thing. So if I glue this, and then it's going to go off the edge a little bit. And just whatever, I had no plan for this. Again, I said, oh, maybe it's Valentine's because of the heart. But you know what? I covered the heart up, and now it's just more of a sweet kind of card. Everyday encouragement type card. And I think even that this being popped up is going to be okay. It should clear it. You know what I'm saying? Like with this being in here, you would think it might obstruct it closing or opening or whatever. This is so hard for me to do, guys, with you guys <laughs> to show it to you and then for me to see it. I'm assuming that looks good. That looks about right. Should go up a little bit higher. Okay, so what I'm saying is this clears that. You see that? It didn't even get like stuck in the lettering or in this being popped up because you have a half an inch there. Now you can play with that. If you only want a quarter inch, then make this a quarter inch wider and make this only a quarter inch, right? On this side and on this side. But that half inch gives you some really good clearance to do some fun stuff. Look at that, you guys. Perfect. A2 size card, nothing funky. It's not even that bulky. I guess it depends what you want to do. And when you open it, your recipient has that cute You Are Awesome in there. And I was going to put this little butterfly right here. So should I do it? <laughs> she seems a little bit flat, but um, it just adds to it. So I think I will do it. Let's go for it. And I'm only going to put what I think is touching. I can't tell really what's going on. And all the way to the edge, because I want most of that You Are Awesome to show. You guys, how fun! Quick and easy, whatever you got, pull it out, get it going. Let's put that butterfly a little more <laughs> in there. I am very happy with this. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that uh, sparked some creativity. It was kind of, you know, interesting getting back into crafting after taking a few days off. And it wasn't even that long, but it seems like I'm, you know, getting back in to the groove here. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some images for you, um, links for anything that might be available. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.